Going into Solo, we all knew that every time we make a Star Wars movie, we want to raise the bar. We wanted a certain level of suspension of disbelief, that it doesn't feel so fantastic that you're thinking about, how did they do this? Let's find out how good we really are, folks. So there were two things that we did using VR in production design. One was the design itself of the train. Two is the more practical version of what is the size of the train, what is the height of the train, how do we jump from car to car when that car is tilting back and forth, how do we hold on to it. We used Stagecraft VR powered by Epic's uh, Unreal Engine and really got to place ourselves in the environment. What this tool allowed us to do was to actually surround ourselves 360 with a view of what these machines would actually become. This allowed us to uh, move things a lot more efficiently, a lot quicker. The director was able to see his vision a lot earlier and all of us to be on board of what this actually will become. <laughs> on Solo, one of our biggest challenges is working on sequences that are visual effects heavy sequences that don't have a lot to go on in terms of editorial building blocks. So you might be trying to conceive of something like the train sequence, but without some sort of kind of virtual playground to sort of work through your cameras and your action and your blocking, you're sort of flying blind. Having real-time assets means that we can actually play with these different aspects of the sequence almost like toys. You know, you're able to move things around. Creatively, it really brings out something that you don't get from just working with cumbersome, slow, pre-rendered assets. You have the ability to actually make real-time changes and see the impact on your story, on your edit. You might have the set designer there, along with the production designer, along with the director, and they can talk about how they actually plan to shoot the actual scene you're talking about, and that might mean they want to change something and they can sit there and they can look at it and they can envision it differently and they can all make a decision together. And that's something that without real-time technology, you just don't get that kind of collaborative interaction. We have really high-level artists at Industrial Light and Magic and the Unreal Engine gives them the level of control that they require and demand from their tools in order to produce something that not only functions in real time, but gives us the kind of feature film quality results that, that we need. Ugh!